one, spend time with friends. Quarantine has got us all creative in how to spend time with our friends and family. For me, I've been doing so through watch parties or video calls, or even adding each other on games such as Animal Crossing, Pocket Camp, or online mobile games like Battlelands or Ross. And the latest one I tried was doing an online escape room with my friend. So I'll link some articles or sites down below on how to do these, but it's also okay to be alone and doing your own thing as well. Taking care of yourself could either be spending time with friends or spending time with yourself. The second one is look down memory lane. So it's been a while since I flipped through them and boy, I tell you the wave of nostalgia that hit me. I saw photos that I never knew existed or forgot they even happened. I saw photos that I remember so vividly that it had the power to take me back in time. So looking at old photos gave me so much joy and I hope it does to you guys as well. And I used to laugh at the early 2000s fashion, but because of this, it kind of gave me an idea for a lookbook video, so stay tuned for that. Number 3. Detoxify your social media accounts. Now that a lot of us are trying to stay safe in our homes, it resulted to a lot of content on social media being created. I got really overwhelmed with the amount of media I'm being exposed to all the time. So rather than taking a break from social media, I decided to clean my timeline feed. I wanted to create mainly YouTube and Instagram feeds full of people I genuinely care about and gave me positive vibes. I wanted to see my friends, family, or creators I look up to and wanted to enjoy scrolling through my feeds again. Number four is sanitize your surfaces. Washing our hands and keeping our bodies clean are necessities during this time, but keeping all your surfaces, especially the most basic things we use a lot, is also important. So don't forget to sanitize your surfaces, either like doorknobs, switches, remotes, gadgets, desks, etc. Every once in a while. And number five is keep a journal. So disclaimer, this video is in collaboration again with Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform where aspiring creatives can come together and develop their skills. One can learn so many things jumping off from art, music, videography, writing, even business skills. And this one I'd like to mention for today, which is journaling. I recently took Mimi Chow's 30-minute class called Draw Your Life Intro to Illustrated Journaling. I've always been a very sentimental person. Ever since 2016, I like to take note of what happens to me from the most basic and mundane things to fun things I do with my friends or family. A few years, months, or even days from now will probably be clueless what happened then. I know I will because I really have bad memory. I think it's a really good Good idea to keep a journal or even learn something new especially now in our current situation but what's nice is that we're going to be taking this at our own pace in our own homes and use it to wind down and relieve stress without the academic pressure of learning something new and also perfecting it after i took my class in skillshare it kind of gave me a hot fresh take into journaling and also reminded me why i do that in the first place so I like how Skillshare has a student project section under each class where people can comment their progress. So aside from Mimi Chow's personal examples in her class, I found it very motivating that I'm learning alongside with others and can take inspiration from their art styles and also Mimi's art styles as well. And yeah, so with that, I've taken like four to five classes so far and I really like how Skillshare has quick easy to follow and refreshing takes about various topics with their different resources. Hi, I just want to say thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video and if you guys want to join the community, you guys can do it through the link down below in the description box so that you guys can have two free months of membership but only the first 1,000 people to do so could avail of that deal and after those two free months, you guys have to pay the regular but budget-friendly price of less than $10 a month for a whole year. And number six is, ta-da, learn a new skill. So it doesn't really have to have that wow factor. Most of us watching this video probably have a lot of time in our hands. So why not learn something new? Or this skill doesn't even have to pertain to you all the time. Perhaps you can train your pets. Like, although I did try to teach my dog a few weeks ago how to lie down. But after an hour of trying, I got lazy and called it a day. But who knows, maybe I'll get back to it, you know? And this new skill could also be as basic as cooking. My mom randomly told me she plans to teach me 
made three recipes this quarantine so I wasn't that into it at first but now I am and so far we're just on the first one and it's this delicious aglio olio pasta my favorite other than these you guys can also hone your creative skills either in art writing photography videography and I also get a lot of comments that they want to start a YouTube channel as well so why not go for it guys during quarantine and also I myself have also been trying to develop my art skills like imported drawing and digital painting. And lastly, maybe I'll also finally stop being afraid of driving and practice doing it around the village so that I can finally get my license after quarantine. Number 7. Get some sunlight or some fresh air. In my previous vlog, I laughed at my mom for telling me it's good to have adequate sunlight every day. And boy, did I regret laughing at her because she's actually right. Wow, well, guys, listen to your parents, please. So for most of us here, the non-frontliners, we probably spent like 99% of the time inside our homes. Honestly, it could get stuffy sometimes. So if you have a patio, garden, and a few minutes there, especially when there's sunlight. And I tell you, it made me feel so much better. Ever since then, I enjoyed doing it free frequently and when I do, I like to bring a book with me to read or play my favorite chill playlist on Spotify and play with my dogs at the side. But if you don't have something like a terrace or a patio, probably sit beside your window and open it up. It's good to wind down, look at the view, go off our phones, and get some fresh air once in a while. And number 8 is, ta-da! Take random photos or have photo shoots. This could be of random things like dogs, the sky, or food, or even a stage self-timer photo shoots on your phone, which you guys can also post on Instagram, wow. And lately, I've been digging up old photos to post or using the photo booth app filters on my MacBook, and I've even reached to the point that I take photo shoots on my phone self-timer with my dogs and books so yeah and my camera roll has been some sort of journal for me as well like if i scroll through mine and you scroll through yours it could give us a glimpse of what happened in our days or in our weeks or months an event must be so interesting enough that i pause to take a photo of it or that day must be so uneventful enough that i took photos of the most basic things like the food i eat or the stuff i do or watch or play Number 9. Try to watch something new. Step out of your comfort zones and check out things you wouldn't normally try before because of your hectic schedule. So for the past two months, I've jumped from western comedies to romantic Korean dramas to scary thriller movies, either Korean, English, or even Spanish. And now, I'm addicted to watching anime. I think now's the time to try out our different tastes. It's alright to binge shows or movies that doesn't make us any less productive. In fact, look at it this way. You're finally taking off a show or movie off your long list of stuff to watch. Number 10. Create a new habit or goal. One thing I lost from being in quarantine is the routine that was often dictated by school. But now that we have more control over our lives, we can set a new routine, habit, or goal that doesn't have to be extensive. Just something to look forward to each day and provide structure to it. And for me, I like to get coffee in the morning and then in the evening, drink some hot green tea. And anime watch parties with my friends every day at 2pm, 5pm, and 9pm. And some 7 minute workouts every other day just to give me the illusion that I'm trying to be fit. I also look forward to a relaxing evening so I either binge shows, movies, or read books to fall asleep. So yeah, your routine or everyday life doesn't have to be so productive and yeah so those are the 10 things you guys can do in quarantine i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you guys are staying safe and staying sanitized bye bye